Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Rick Wilcox Show. No. Yeah, I, there's been shows where I've had a fever of 104. I'm pale, so I'd put more makeup on. And, you know. Or if he doesn't have a voice, I get on the microphone and do my best. And we do more uh, illusions to music instead of the comedy. Right. That's happened twice. I even That's did a tough. show. You're not going to believe this, but I did a show one time. Um, I mean, you, you don't want to just, you can't. The show must go on no matter what. So what we did for this one, I had no voice. So how am I going to do a show without a voice? I took a previous show, <laughs> took the audio from that show, and I put it on my in my music somehow, or not my, you know, with my system where I can control everything, and I uh, mimed it. You know, what, what do you lip sync? I lip sync <laughs> a previous show, like the rope trick. It was playing over the audio like I was talking, but I wasn't. And the audience was like, something's not right. You know, it doesn't look like he's quite matched up. But I knew, you know, because I pretty much say the same thing every time. But sometimes my mouth was moving like Godzilla, you know, and, and it's not supposed to be. But, and then, uh, so throughout the whole show, I had pre-recorded audio from another show. Right. And it but worked we, out okay. It and worked out okay, but we also limited the number of talking tricks. We did. And we brought bigger things, which right. was more work for right. us, but we got through it. And That's exactly right. We did more we big illusions to music, right. but those are only like three or four minute tricks and you have an hour show. It's like, so we really packed in the illusions that night, but her sister had was helping me as well. And she has a really good memory. So she could remember my lines and jokes. And so she was doing some of the patter for me while I was just doing the trick. And she was getting the jokes out there. It's a pretty interesting show. It's the Rick Wilcox Show.